Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing 11 tips on how to get free items in Rec Room, including specific maps where you can find free items, as well as just some general tips and advice. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to use code Terra in Rec Room, or hit the support button on my profile in game. Now let's get started. Number 1, Soul Fox Tail. If you're a fan of Rec Room and its community, you'll be pleased to know that some famous Rec Room YouTubers have created their own quests for you to embark on. One such quest was created by the talented Soul Fox, who has devised a fun and challenging adventure for players to undertake, and at the end, you get something cool. The quest starts with the player being tasked with filling a backpack with items that Soul Fox likes. Once you've managed to gather all the items, you'll need to defeat numerous archers in the next section who have deadly aim and can double shoot, making them a formidable opponent. This section usually takes me about 15 minutes and I almost rage quit every time, so you've been warned. It's tough, especially if you're bad with a bow. But the challenges don't stop there. The quest also features multiple Soul Fox duplicates that will cause you to respawn if they make eye contact with you, adding another layer of difficulty to the adventure. However, despite the challenges, the experience is whimsical and fun, and completing it is rewarding in itself. Once you've conquered all the challenges, and reach the end of the quest, you'll be presented with a special headband that is identical to the one that Soul Fox wears. So head on over to Soul Fox Tail and start your adventure today. Number two, graduation. Have you ever dreamed of obtaining an exclusive item to flaunt in front of your friends, but didn't want to spend any tokens? Well, fear not. The graduation map has got you covered. If you hate school and can't stand learning, don't worry. All you have to do here is simply visit the graduation room and you'll receive your very own fraudulent cap and gown. No need to stress over your academic achievements or earning tokens to spend on fancy outfits. You can show off your new items to your friends and they'll be none the wiser about your rec room academic history. So what are you waiting for? Head on over to the graduation map and collect your cap and gown today. Don't forget to snap some pictures and share them with your friends. Congrats on your graduation. Number three, High Winds. This quest features the popular hairy man legs and despite some of the map instances being a little broken in my recent experience, you should still receive the gift at the end. As you journey through, you'll encounter a variety of tasks that will keep you entertained and engaged. From solving basic puzzles to shaving Harry's legs with a razor, yes you heard me right, each task will bring you closer to your ultimate goal, obtaining the same hat that Harry wears. But this quest is more than just a means to an end. It's an experience in and of itself, full of delightful surprises and scenic vistas that will take your breath away. Wooden signs pointing the way to get the hat are an obvious indicator of where you need to go, but don't forget to slow down and appreciate the beauty of this world around you. So whether you're here just to get a free item or you're a fan of Harry, take a journey through high winds and experience the excitement of completing tasks and obtaining that coveted hat. Number four, Quest for the Jade. As you enter Quest for the Jade, you'll notice a small and seemingly inconspicuous start button on the wall. I spent forever looking for this, but don't be fooled as this is the start of a great adventure that will lead you to an amazing reward. Once you've pressed this button, be prepared to face a series of challenges that will test your skills and perseverance. First, you'll need to find a key to unlock the next area, which involves some short but tricky parkour sequences here. There's a mini boss on this quest, and the whole thing is a little bit janky at times, but bear with it. Remember the free clothing and persevere. After the mini boss, you'll find a daunting set of stairs that will take you up to the final battle, where you'll face off against some very annoying enemies. Stay focused and use your jousting skills to defeat the boss, then switch to your trusty weapon to take out the skeletons. The fight may seem long, but it's worth it, as you'll be rewarded with a stunning crown at the end credits. This crown is none other than the famous one that Rec Room YouTuber Slat is known for. With its intricate design and regal aura, you'll be sure to turn heads as you wear it in style. Don't hesitate, join the quest for the jade and claim your crown today. Number five, Nathy Arcade. This is a map created by the legendary VR YouTuber Nathy. With just over 700,000 subscribers on YouTube, Nathy has established himself as a veritable icon in the VR community. Of course, while the jacket is certainly a highlight of the experience, it's important to not overlook the incredible arcade itself. From the neon lights to the vintage cabinets, every aspect of this arcade has been carefully designed to transport you back in time to the golden age of gaming. So if you're a fan of Nathy's work or you just love all things retro, be sure to make your way here to Nathy Arcade. You won't be disappointed by the incredible atmosphere and the fantastic jacket that awaits you. Number six, Pride Fest. As you enter the bustling Pride Fest map, you will be immediately swept away by the lively atmosphere and the rainbow colored decor that blankets every surface. This is a place where the LGBTQ plus community is celebrated and embraced with open arms. As a special treat for joining, you will also receive a stylish fanny pack upon spawning to the map. And as you explore this vibrant environment, you'll soon discover that there's more to see and experience beyond the free gift. So join the party, dance with new friends, and immerse yourself in the festive spirit of Pride Fest. Number seven, PSVR Frank. In this futuristic map, you will receive a box with a hilarious pun and a formal tie. After you receive your free gift, check out the rest of this small but very eclectic hangout that Marissa created, perhaps for the launch of Rec Room on PSVR back in the day. Number eight, in order to get more free items in Rec Room, you have to be on top of the social calendar. This means logging into the game often and looking out for Rec Room official announcements in your watch. Here are just a few of the free items I've seen pop up in the time that I've been playing the game. Class of shirts. These are given out to players who joined during the previous year. Sometime in the first quarter of each calendar year, you'll spawn into your dorm to find a free gift with a unique design. These are bragging rights because you can't get them unless you were a player in Rec Room in that specific year. New Year's Sash. On New Year's 2021, there was, I think just for one day only, a New Year's Sash that you could get by heading to the Rec Center. A small but lovely gift to ring in the New Year. Retcon Badge and Shirt. During the 2021 Retcon, if you attended this event, by spawning in, you would receive a free shirt and badge with Retcon on them. In 2022, this was just a shirt, but either way, it's a nice memorabilia for such a fun weekend versus 
virtual convention. The Ethan Bortnick concert. Now I missed out on this one, but by attending this Rec Room official prom event, got a nice shirt. The Fourth Fridays concerts. Most of the merch at these events are paid in a storefront, but at the last concert, there was a cool free shirt available right when you spawned into the event. Kind of funny to see like 25 people spawn into an event, all blocking each other with free gift boxes to open their surprise present. Then there was Rec Rocks. Another free music themed shirt popped up here during this legendary weekend music festival. The Mr. Beast shirt. Going to the Rec Center during the Mr. Beast and Rec Room collab yielded a cool rare shirt with this logo on it. This one was not to be missed. And there was the Rec Holiday Market. By watching for announcements, you can get free clothing items here during the holidays. In 2021, it was the whole Jack Frost set. In 2022, this was just a beanie hat. I'm curious to see what it will be for the holidays in 2023. And this is just to name a few. I'm pretty sure there are at least a half dozen more that I just forgot about, to be honest. Follow Rec Room on social media if you want to stay on top of these announcements for free items. Number nine, playing quests. It pays to get good at Rec Room quests. There are entire outfit sets for each rank. They range from C rank, the lowest, to S rank or S plus in certain quests. Every time you win, you will get one piece from one set depending on how you rank. So try to die less and you'll rank better. Yes, sounds like a skill issue. Practice makes perfect though. I did make a tutorial about how to beat every Rec Room quest if you want to check that out later. In addition to winning outfits, you can also get currency from collecting silver or gold in Island Crescendo. Running through these quests and gathering all the silver or gold will eventually give you a substantial amount to spend in the gift shop. These items are very coveted and that's because it's not easy to get them. Still, technically free as you don't have to spend anything except your time and effort on many, many, many run-throughs of the game. Play RROs and choose clothing. If you play Rec Room Original Games, you have a chance, not a guarantee, but a chance to get free clothing items at the end. I recommend fast-paced ones like Dodgeball and Paddleball, anything that's over fairly quickly, as opposed to say a round of Rec Royale, which can last some time. The more rounds you play, the more likely you are to receive a pop-up, prompting you to choose either tokens, consumables, or perhaps a clothing item at the end. If you're trying to stock up your wardrobe, I highly recommend choosing the free clothing item each time. If you want to save up for special items, I recommend choosing the tokens. It's entirely up to you where you want to go with this strategy. Number 11, completing invasion events. Free clothing can also be gleaned from these new Rec Room invasion events. There's typically a timeline with credits and unique items, and all you have to do is find power cores in various rooms to gain credits. There's a bit of a strategy to this one, and it seems to change a bit with each event, but either way, the credits you gain from completing these tasks can also be spent on clothing. The clothing items are usually new and rare, but sometimes they can be re-releases too. The best part, no real money required. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for more news about limited time items and events, as I'm usually pretty good about making social media posts about these right as they happen. And if you want to keep watching Rec Room content, check out this video here next.